question today is I filled out form 9465 installment agreement request. I entered an amount I can comfortably pay each month. Should I have months where I can pay more than the agreed upon amount in order to get my balance paid off sooner? Where can I pay the extra amount online? Answer to this question is yes, you can make payments above and beyond your installment agreement payment every month or whenever you want, really. Doing so will reduce the penalties and interest that accrue on your account because even when you're in installment agreement status, penalties and interest still continue to accrue. My team at Choice Tax Relief, we're generally able to cut that future penalty accrual in half instead of the half a percent a month fair to pay penalty we can generally get that cut to uh, a quarter percent a month fair to pay penalty for installment uh, for installment agreements we negotiate on behalf of our clients uh, saving them some money in the long run but if you really want to save on penalties and interest yes you can you can make payments early uh, and because the interest is compounded daily it, you know it, it, it will save you money in the long run assuming assuming this is a full payment installment agreement. If it's a partial payment installment agreement, uh, which is actually the topic of the video that this uh, comment was made on, then it might not save you money <laughs> because in a partial payment installment agreement, theoretically, the payments, uh, the sum of the payments you make to the IRS would not cover your full balance to the IRS, right? And a portion of your, of your balance would essentially be written off uh, when the collection statute expiration date for that debt is reached. If this is all godly confusing to you, what I just said right there, watch the video on partial payment installment agreements. It'll make more sense after you watch that. Um, so that was the first question. Second question, where can I pay the extra amount online? Let me show you right now. Oh, but before I do that, I want to mention, this is very important. Let's say your installment agreement to the IRS is $100 a month, okay? If you pay $200 this month to the IRS, you still have to pay the $100 next month to them. Okay, just to be completely clear. So um, keep that in mind, right? Some people think, oh, okay, I'm going to prepay the, you know, this month and next month I'm going to pay them $200 now. No, that's not how it works. Even if you prepay some amount, you still have to make the agreed upon monthly uh, payment to them. Uh, whether or not you, you paid some extra amount previously. All right, now let's go uh, to irs.gov slash payments. This is where you can make payments online. To the IRS, there are uh, a few ways you can pay. Um, you can pay with a uh, credit card or debit card. Um, you do have to use like a third-party payment processing platform that does charge a fee. You just go to one of these of your choice, click, and then you can you know do make a... Uh, click the option, make a personal payment or make a business payment. Um, yeah, so there, that's an option if you want to pay by card, you will be charged a fee. If you want to pay by uh, direct pay, which is from your bank account, uh, for which there's no fee charged, at least on the, uh, the recipient's end, um, then you can scroll down here, go to make a payment. Uh, you can select reason. Uh, you can do, uh, well, yeah, payment plan or installment agreement. Uh, apply payment to you know income tax. Uh, let's say you're it's for tax year 2020. Continue, and then it'll ask you for some verification questions here, uh, so you can make the payment. Um, you can also write a check uh, to the IRS. Matter of fact, you can pay by cash too, I believe. Oh, oh, down here, other ways you can pay. Uh, look, same day wire, check or money order, cash. You can do EFT along with the return, but you know, wire, you get to pay a fee for a wire transfer, you know, to your bank. So that's not very common. Uh, pay by check or money order. There's instructions here uh, at this um, URL. Uh, make sure you read those instructions. Uh, cash, <laughs> uh, you have to go, generally have to go somewhere and, and do that. Uh, and then EFT is if you could, you know, put your, your, uh, banking information along with your tax return will suck the money out. Um, all right, so yes, you, in summary, you can uh, pay your IRS balance off early. You can make additional payments in addition to your installment agreement payment that will reduce your penalty and interest accrual. 
Uh, however, if you're in an installment agreement, you still have to make your agreed upon monthly payment every month, regardless of how much you've prepaid in the past. Unless you pay off the full balance, of course, in which case there's nothing left to pay. Uh, all right, folks, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want more information about IRS installment agreements, I have my video about the partial payment installment agreement here on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and my video about IRS installment agreements in general here at the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, if you want to reach out to a tax professional about your tax situation, visit us, choicetaxrelief.com. Give us a call, 866-8000-TAX. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.